wonder what Kagawa thinks of Quidditch being cancelled. Bet she's fuming. I met some of my best friends in flying. Nothing creates a bond like thinking you're all about to die. I just know we were finally going to win the Quidditch Cup this year. Hello, Lucan. Is the final round of cross wands ready? Big match today. It all comes down to this. The moment that we find out if your training and dedication is enough to win it all. Ready for a shot at glory? I certainly am. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? Yes, Sebastian. Then let's get started. We can make this a real victory. That's the spirit. I'm just pleased to have done as well as I did. And we're pleased to have such a gracious champion. Now, to the victor goes the prize! And so it is my great honour to present you with this simple yet elegant token of supreme dueling accomplishment. I'm flattered, but I didn't deserve such an honour. Come now, you're the undisputed winner. You should revel in your accomplishment. Now that we've definitively crowned the tournament winner, I suppose I should get back to my schoolwork. Wonder how my herbology plants are doing. I haven't tended them in ages. The best duelist won, I suppose. Shame it's over. I was just getting started. Could you remind me how the Dedalian keys work again? When you spot or hear a flying key, you're to follow it back to its cabinet. Inserting it in the lock is the tricky part. I hope you follow some. If you open a cabinet, I'd love to know what you find, if anything. Lost to a new student? Hmm, I didn't see that coming. You can't be B, can you?
Hello, Lucan. I'd like to practice with the training dummy. Excellent idea. This time will be a bit more of a challenge. Ready? That'd be brilliant. Wonderful. I'll set things up. Remember to cast all the spell combinations before the dummy lands again. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Good one! Excellent form. Accio. Incendio. Leviosa. Accio. Incendio. Impressive wand work. I'd hate to face you in a duel. Thanks, Lucan. You've been a great help. Oh, stop. Don't make me blush. Seriously, well done. Training dummies will think twice before challenging you again. Even though you won the tournament already, I'm glad to see you haven't stopped training. Stay sharp, my friend. Rebellion. 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 dangerous if I'm not careful.
Revelio. Hello, can I help you? Oh, thank goodness. Yes, my name is Grace Pinch Smedley. Of the Bath Pinch Smedleys? I was hoping someone would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You see, I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Might you be the one to help me? Diving into the lake sounds like an adventure. Tell me more. Splendid. Precisely the response I'd hoped for. What do you need help retrieving? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. I'm so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrolabe vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. You seem to think I might have heard of the Bath Pinch Smedleys. Why would I know your family? That's like asking why the sky is blue or grass is green. The Pinch Smedley name is synonymous with intellectual curiosity. We are known for our contributions to science and art. I'm surprised you haven't heard of us, frankly. But with all I plan to discover about the world around us, those that don't yet know the name certainly one day will. What exactly is an astrolabe? It's an astonishing ancient navigational tool. Essentially, a handheld model of the universe. It's mainly used for studying the stars, astronomical pursuits, but it has nearly a thousand uses. Fascinating device. Sadly, I'd imagine it's rusted beyond repair now. Still, we'd love to have it returned to us. It would be like getting a bit of my grandparents back. Hmm. It sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand. But I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts and tide schedule. My best guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. I do hope you find the astrolabe. It would mean so much to our family. It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see. This must be where the Pinch Smedley family astrolabe is.
should let Grace know that I found her family astrolabe. I trust you didn't find the dive too terribly difficult. Hello, Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible! Did you find the astrolabe? I did, but it wasn't easy. I shall need to be compensated. I see. That's fair, I suppose. A reward, so to speak, for finding the buried treasure. Thank you for recovering it. You'd do well to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. A diver of your caliber is certain to find all sorts of things down there. Thank you again. And I do hope you keep diving. You certainly have a knack for finding treasure. I thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. Pardon me, is everything all right? Hardly. I've just lost my business and almost my life. You'd best look elsewhere for wares. I've nothing to sell now. I never thought it'd come to this. Be on your guard. Ramrock and his loyalists will spare no one. They attacked you. Oh, Ranrock has no patience for goblins who won't join him. While I too would like to see goblin kind treated by wizards as equals, bloodshed is not the answer. When I said as much, they turned on me, struck me till I nearly passed out, took my carts, my belongings, even that which is most precious to me, my paintings. Has Ranrock's lot ever attacked you like this before? Oh, they've been taunting and threatening me for a while now. But they've always believed that violence is the only way to get what they want. Things have taken a much darker turn of late. Ramrock is getting more powerful and his loyalists know it. They feel untouchable. Ramrock assumed that all goblins would agree to follow him. But he was wrong. Many of us would like a diplomatic end to the discord with Wizardkind. You mentioned that your paintings were taken. Are you a painter? I am. It's my calling, though most would think it an unusual path for a goblin. Most of my family work in metal, or associated with Gringotts. I'd wager my finest brush that Ramrock's lot have no appreciation for any of my work, and it'll be tossed aside for kindling. Without my carts and my livelihood, who knows when I'll be able to paint again. I'm sorry this happened to you. I shall certainly keep an eye out for your carts. That is very kind of you, but I think they took them to their camp southwest of here, just past some ruins. Too dangerous to try and retrieve them. I did enchant the carts to return to me if I ever lost them, however. Slim though the chances may be, I'm holding out hope that some of what was taken is returned to me. It was nice meeting you. I wish it had been under better circumstances. Hello, sir. What do you sell here? Hello. I'm Jalal Semi, and this is my potion shop. I can answer any questions you have about the town. Any whispers going about the town? A goblin called Pergit is causing a bit of a stink. 
His gang is attacking travelling vendors, and now business is suffering everywhere. Uh, it would be nice if someone would do something about it. No one wants to pick a fight with a band of goblins, though. <laughs> Which means he's free to do what he wants down in Coral Ruins. Can you tell me a bit about yourself? Oh, let's see. Well, I am Lower Hogsfield's preeminent potioneer. But I was once a lowly Hogwarts student like you. In fact, I'll give you the Hogwarts discount. <laughs> it's the standard price. My prices are low enough already, you see. What do you have for sale? I sell only potions and their ingredients. If you can't fix it with a potion, then it's best left broken, I say. <laughs> My ingredients are all local to this area, and my potions are brewed to keep you healthy and safe. What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? I'll have no trouble selling this. Thank you. I hope to see you again sometime. Hello, Mr. Sammy. What can I do for you? What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? I hope to see you again sometime. Revelio. After what Ranrock did to that goblin banker at Gringotts, I shouldn't be surprised at what happened to Arn. Rebellion. It is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Natty. How are you? I am well, thank you. 
I was there, and I saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow at the Three Broomsticks. I have been worried about you. I'm all right at the moment. If you don't mind my asking, why were they looking for you? They want something that Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? Just before we came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A port key brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. I... What does that mean? I'm still learning, but I can see traces of it. And I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to absorb. It is. And I will have more questions. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. Everyone has been talking about you defending Hogsmeade from that troll attack. And I shall never forget watching Serona stand up to Rookwood and Harlow in the Three Broomsticks. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair on their own, and you should know that Rookwood is in league with Ranrock. I had heard they were seen in Hogsmeade together. All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be on your guard. I beg your pardon! How dare you threaten me! What's going on here? Accio! Levioso! Incendio! Rebellion. They must have come this way. Think! I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student! You can't be so... <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupid man! I'll have to you. It's a disaster. Look what you've done, you sir. Oh, Akio. Incendio. Oh, watch the light go out of your eyes. Stop right there! Or all we can hold them all! I'm not going anywhere. You'll take this! Tell her to go! Stop that right now! Akio! Incendio! Who's in 
has just happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner. Been so close to Hogwarts. Revelio. Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You mentioned someone named Priya? Yes, my wife. She's the one who piqued my interest in Merlin, gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Typical hard-working Hufflepuff, brilliant potioneer, has her own shop in Nocturne Alley. She's a travelling vendor, hears what's going on in the Highlands before I do. You're a researcher? Nora Treadwell at your service, historian and archaeologist specialising in Merlin's work and life. Merlin? Of the legend of King Arthur? The very same. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the Trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the centre. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the centre of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honours? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Suite with me. It's just over there by my tent. This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the Mallow Suite. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the Mallow Suite on the swell, and we'll see what happens. See that? The vines disappeared. What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these pyres. Incendium. Merlin's beard! The flames make the pyre sink. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. 
you should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require mallow suit, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. And do be careful out here. Now I've got what I needed, I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. Yes. Greetings, young Slytherin. Scrope knows about the old book you found for Professor Fig. Scrope can help you. And you can help Scrope. Get to the courtyard past the pendulum. If you don't know it, you'll see it easy enough. And don't tell anyone what you're up to. Especially Professor Black. Hello, Mr. Sammy. What can I do for you? What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? I hope to see you again sometime. After what Ranrock did to that goblin banker at Gringotts, I shouldn't be surprised at what happened to Arn. Akio! Eight legs is simply too many. Revelio. Uh. 
Revelio. Rebellion. Past the ruins. I'm on the right track. Accio. Revelio. Rebellion. regret not joining us. If he doesn't come round now, he'll be made even more of an example. Renrod's vision of goblins should have killed that traitor arm up to the cards. works at Gringotts. <laughs> Couldn't pay me enough to sit behind a desk all day. Rebellion.
quite an enchantment. The carts are returning to arm. What an unfortunate end for you! Akio! This doesn't hurt! Incendio. Rebellion. Rebellion. Huh. 
See one. Rebellion. I should investigate. Rebellion.
I know what that means. Merlin trial. Accio! Hello, Mr. Sammy. What can I do for you? What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? I hope to see you again sometime. If you're here for my wares... On, I have good news. Your carts are on their way back. I don't, I don't know what to say. Any hope I have of getting my belongings back was quickly fading. Ramrock's lot called me a fool for believing in the good in wizard kind. Thank you for proving them wrong. The ones I faced were determined to make things difficult. I'm glad you're all right. Oh, I can't wait to have my things back, especially my paints. <gasps> you know, you've inspired me. I've been dealing with witches and wizards for years, and we've always got along just fine. Perhaps my next piece will be a tribute to all that is good between us. What a nice idea, Ron. I wish you luck with it. I can't wait to get started. Uh, thank you again for all you've done. All the best to you. Once my carts arrive, I'd be happy to show you my wares. Thank you. 
Revelio. Rebellio. Accio. Incendio. Levioso. Incendio. That's it. Revelio. Rebellion.
Sparrow. Lumos. Revelio. Are you all right? Look like you've seen a ghost. If only. Get away, all of you. Are they from the restricted section? No, and none of your business. There you are, sneaking past me. I know. And taking dangerous books. They are from the restricted section. Yes, I mean, shut up. Enough. Here. Perhaps you'll find sweeping the courtyard more productive. What, me? Use a broom, not to fly? That is what I said, and let this be a lesson to all of you. Off limits means off limits. <laughs> Ugh, feel like a muggle. I got a look at one of them. Saw something about the Cruciatus curse. I did! Oh, shut up. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio.
Revelio. Revelio. Revelio. What are you up to now? Revelio. Revelio. Rebellion.
Revelio. Lumos. Off on another adventure, are we? Revelio. Lumos. Rebellion. Incendio. Rebellion. Rebellion. Levioso.
brilliant. Revelio. It's me, Gareth. Do you have a moment? Were you calling me, Gareth? I was. After you helped me with that fupa feather and potions, I reckoned you might be just the person I need. You see, I have an idea for a fizzing, wisby inspired beverage, but I'm missing a key ingredient. Where do you find time for this and your homework? I've plenty of time for both. Been managing for years. So, I suspect the key ingredient in fizzing whisbies is dried billywig stings. I heard there's a store of them in Honeyduke's cellar. I'd get them myself, but my Aunt Matilda has her eye on me. Thinks I need to focus on potions class for a while, not for my own bruise. I was hoping you could follow a secret passage to Honeyduke's cellar and grab a few dried billywig stings for me. Of course. You never know when you might need a quick means of escape from the castle. Brilliant, thank you. But you should know that it's not exactly quick. It's the secret bit that's helpful. The passage is hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch in the third floor corridor. Just tap it with your wand and say, Descendium. Couldn't you have someone buy the dried billywigs things? They're not for sale, and you never know when the cellar's going to be locked. So. The reliable way in and out is through the secret entrance. Are you asking me to steal from a shop? Goodness! It's not as if I'm asking you to rob Gringotts. Honeydukes is more than enough, and I only need a few. It's a sweets ingredient. They won't be missed, trust me. I'll see what I can do, Gareth. Fair enough. You shall be the first one to taste my newest brew if you can be of help. Perhaps I can convince a meat to help me with my potions homework, get my aunt to loosen her reins a bit. I'll need to get those dried billywigs things for Gareth if he's to finish his latest concoction. A one-eyed witch statue shouldn't be too hard to find. This looks like the right statue. Now, what was the password? Descendium. Goodness, who knew this was all down here? A lift must be how I get down. Looks broken though. Repair all. Ah! 
That seems to have done the trick. Revelio. This castle will never cease to surprise me. Revelio. Revelio. I'm going to have to get past this. Levioso. Accio. Revelio. Repairer. Levioso. Revelio. Incendio. One more to go and I'll make it across. Repair it. Let me open. Something is getting in the way of that platform. Repair Incendio, repair Accio. Levioso. Aha, got it. Uh. Revelio. Must be the way out.
Revelio. I need to find a way to open that gate. Incendio! Something smells sweet. Must be close to Honeydukes. Revelio! Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Honey jukes. I can smell the chocolate. Now, where would I find the dried billywig stings for Gareth? Revelio. I have the dried billywig stings. Now back to Gareth. I can only imagine how his new recipe is going to turn out. You're worrying far too much. Nobody's looking at you. Look at that boy. Why did you buy me a second pair? I hate these Novelty socks. Novelty socks at that price can't be passed up. Be thankful you have I'd socks. I'd rather have no socks than be dancing like this. You're not dancing, you're exercising. Father, why is he dancing? See? And you'd said the charm's come out in the wash, but it hasn't. Known someone so dramatic, just like your father. Anyone would think you had an affliction. Has he been cursed? Oh, please, can't we take these socks back to Mr. Hill and get me some when normal ones? When you pay ones? for your own socks, then you get to choose. Until then, you'll learn to be thrifty and behave. You're starting to cause a scene. Papa, can we really wash charms out of things? Don't be absurd. That woman will say anything to avoid spending her canals. One never knows when society will be thrown ah. Come on in and have a look around. Uh, no touching if you have sticky fingers. If I haven't said it before, it's a pleasure doing business with you. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about.
Rebellion. Well, hello there. Come in, look around, and if you've been eating chocolate frogs... Incendio. Touching. Rebellion. 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 Idiot! Lolly has served our family for five generations, and you go and give her clothes? Now I will have to cook and clean until we can replace her with another elf. Did you think of that? Or do you hate your mother that much? It's always run when Painty wants to have some fun! Oh, 
Hello again. Were you able to get to Honeydukes? Hello, Gareth. I have those dried billywigs things. You got them? Incredible. Getting them was more work than I expected. I'd like to be paid for my time. Of course. Didn't think it would be that much trouble, but I'm happy to pay for your help. Thank you again. I'll let you know when I brewed my first batch of fizzing whiz beer. <laughs>